good morning everybody, it's Sunday, uh, it's 11 o'clock, or nearly, and it's so quiet out on the streets, like there's nobody around at all. Um, I'm just hunting for somewhere to grab some breakfast slash brunch before I head to a place called the Netherlands Photo Museum, where there's this photography exhibition on called Faces, um, and it looks really really good on the website, so I'm hoping that um, it lives up to my expectations. But first things first, get some food. I have a bite on the bottom of my foot and it's unbelievably itchy, especially in these shoes. <laughs> this is orange and nectarine juice and oh my god, it's so good. Mm. That's a nice little sculpture. And then here we have a landmark of Rotterdam which is called Erasmus Brug, which I imagine means Erasmus Bridge. That's quite nice, I suppose. I'm gonna go walk over it now. It's quite nice on a sunny day. Here we are, here to see some faces. Photo museum. Is this the entrance? So I finished up at the photo museum now. I stayed there for three hours. I actually went to three exhibitions. And I'm now sitting overlooking the river, which is lovely. Oh, don't be windy. So the exhibitions are really good. The first one was called Faces and it was literally, as you can imagine, just loads and loads of portraits. Um, but they were really beautiful. It was European portrait photography since 1990. And there were some really lovely things. Actually, I picked up some uh, examples. Like this one, this one. My personal favorite, this one, and this one. But yeah, there were hundreds in there. And it was a really, really good exhibition, actually. It's really fascinating looking at someone's face in such high quality, so close up, um, like a massive face the size of a wall. <laughs> the second exhibition was really, really clever. It was quite small. It was all about how to use a dark room and how photographers like use their equipment and stuff. But it was laid out in such a cool way. So you would take this big white sheet, which was like your photographic paper, and you'd go and lay it in a tray. I sneakily filmed a clip, because you weren't allowed to film in there, but I sneakily filmed a clip. So I'll show you here and see if you can understand. Um, so when you put your thing in the tray, it will start a projector above it, and which explains like another process or about another photographer. It was really, really clever. And then the third exhibition I went to was one called Looking for Carl, and it was about a guy called Carl Hocker, who was a Nazi who worked at Auschwitz. And basically he kept a photo album of him and all of his friends that also worked there um, when they were just like chilling out, relaxing, like in this little lake cottage, um, like 30 kilometers from the concentration camps. And it was just all the photos of them having fun and smiling. And it was really, really bizarre to see actually. It was like anonymously given to a museum in America um, and they published some of the photos from it, but it was really, really, really interesting. The actual explanation was, photographic album which shows the everyday life and leisure time of Nazis who worked in the concentration camps. So yeah, I'm really glad I went to them. I couldn't film in there, so sorry this kind of jumped at me sitting by a river. But um, it's a bit cold and windy, I'm not sure what to do. I've got to walk back over that bridge though, which was super windy, so let's go make a plan. These were my little sketches from the Faces exhibition. <laughs> Some of my favourites. <laughs> I just remembered that when I did that illustration workshop the other day, the woman in charge wrote this list of things she recommended to me. And she's written a place here called Katten Dretch. And she's put a love heart, so I'm guessing it's a good one. And there's a place called Phoenix Food Factory, where she said that there's good food and drinks and a nice view. And I think that is just here. So I'm gonna head there before I go back over the bridge to my area. I found the Phoenix Food Factory and it is lovely on the riverside. Really nice. So I thought it was just one restaurant, but apparently not. It's like all these different little food stalls and shops inside. I decided to get a water taxi back to the other side of the bridge so that I don't have to walk over it in the wind again. I'm excited! This is my boat. Thank you very much! Bye bye! Ooh. Well that was cute. <laughs> So was he. Guess who got caught in the rain again? Although this time it just so happened that I was outside and nails fell on. 
So I got my little trotters painted and I'm just walking back to my hostel now. Found a cat. <laughs> Hello. Where'd you come from? Hello, so I've been in my hostel for a while now, um, it's half past eight, and I made a friend, his name is Sam, and he lives in Brighton, and we have a few mutual friends, so it's really weird, he's like cycling around Europe, so that's cool, um, he's gone out for dinner now, but I didn't have any dinner because I ate at a stupid time, I had a sausage roll earlier, but it's raining so bad and it's such gross weather, I really hope that tomorrow is better, because tomorrow is my last day in Rotterdam. I'm going to go and edit this vlog. But anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see the rest of my trip. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.